know that each and every second, 310 kilos of toxic chemicals are released into our air, land, and water by industrial features around the world? That's almost the weight of 10 10-year-olds. <gasps> we as young teenagers who have the responsibility on our shoulders to care for planet Earth should take initiatives now to take care and rehabilitate the Earth. How can we do this? We're not talking about changing the whole world. We can start with the environment around us. But how can we do that? Hmm, let me think. I've got the perfect idea. Maybe we could turn the lights off before we leave a room. Or maybe we could throw our rubbish in the bin. Hey, maybe we should turn off the tap. Brush our teeth and turn the water off as we do it. Have two minutes shower! Have two minutes shower! Yeah, no! Have you done that, have you? No. Why? Never mind. <clears throat> what else can we do? Hmm. Yeah. The rainwater tanks! Yeah! See, guys, we have so many things we could do for the environment. Let's now talk to Professor Greenwood yeah. who will tell us about the outcomes if we do these wonderful things. So, Professor, by doing the little things, such as turning off the tap and turning off the PowerPoint when you're not using it, how may it benefit the environment? By doing these marvellous acts in the environment, no matter how small the deed is, the environment will benefit from it. We are at a crucial stage where we should really start to care for planet Earth. See, guys, by doing these little things for the environment, such as turning off the tap while you're brushing your teeth, turning off the lights when you're not using them, or even having two minute showers. No matter what you do, it benefits the environment. We, as young teenagers, want to take on this challenge to make the world a better place, to make the environment around us a better place. The question is, can you?